Good afternoon, Evan. How are you today, I Ken? just noticed something. Yeah, you did, didn't you? I noticed something very important. Ain't born anymore. For the last two and a half months, yep. win, lose, draw, didn't matter. Yep, 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 you yep. would always say boring baseball. Yeah, that's right, sir. So Anthony Rizzo has eliminated the boring from boring baseball? Well, listen, I can't just say Anthony Rizzo, but I'll say Anthony Rizzo. <laughs> yeah. Sure, why the hell not? And they finally learned how to sweep a team, albeit the Marlins. Mets will have their crack to do the same now. But it's funny, August, it's a new month. Today's August 2nd, right? Yes. So with a new month comes a new feeling in New York. And you tell me if you think I'm off base on this or I'm just poking the bear for the sake of poking the bear. Yankees have a better record than the Mets. Yankees are better than the Mets. Now, they don't have to worry about each other till the uh, September 11th weekend as far as head-to-head matchups. Mm-hmm. And so what? The Mets are in a weaker division. Too bad to the Yankees. The Mets are getting a, a little bit of a gift this year because the National East sucks you-know-what, right? That being said, it's the first time this year you could make that comment and stand by it. Would you agree? Yeah. Bang! Yeah, no, no, I, I Light agree. up the phones, boys and girls. And, and, and I remember when the Mets traded for Cespedes in 2015. In that moment, everything changed. Everything about the team changed. The feeling you had about the team changed, and they responded. They swept the Nationals that weekend, and off they were running to the National League East. The New York Mets made a significant trade before the deadline. Significant. Yeah. They added Javier Baez. No the doubt. Yankees made significant trades before the deadline in adding Joey Gallo and Anthony Rizzo. And while the Yankees still only scored 10 runs this weekend, right. and that should be acknowledged, there is a 15-esque feel towards the Yankees in which everything feels different. There's a different feel to the New York Yankees based on those moves. And I was at City Field this weekend, and this is not the fans' fault. Because they were loud. They were excited. Yeah. It doesn't feel different. I'll tell you why. Why? Let me tell you why. Because your offense still sucks. Yes. And because, and you're not going to like this, so I just ask you to allow me to say it uh, before you jump down my throat on it. The Mets had a same old Mets Wilpon-esque event that happened this weekend. I can't disagree with you, Craig. And that can't do that it. does kind of color things a little bit when, look, you're not, you have no offense this weekend. You know, you, you're lucky to win the one game you, you won, right? I yeah. mean, let's be honest Great about Great comeback, it. but very fortunate, yeah. yes. And while the Mets are struggling offensively, and it wasn't Baez's fault, he does what Rizzo did. And for that matter, whatever Chicago Cubs did that got traded at the trade deadline, they all hit home runs, right? But while the Mets were struggling offensively, the Met ownership and front office was reverting back to the Will Pondays of embarrassing themselves. You pick a kid 10th in the draft, and more than any draft I've ever witnessed in my life, the fan base was in love. Oh, yeah. Right? I was fired Ooh. up. You mocked me for being fired up. Kumar Rockers and Matt, I can't believe yeah. he dropped to number 10. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Like anybody ever saw him play a game at Vanderbilt, We okay? did see him play games at Vanderbilt. You, you just know that he played in the same team as Jack Leiter. No, That's no, all we no, knew. No. He dominated two okay. years ago. <laughs> Stop with that. So everyone's all pumped up. And then day one, day two, blah, 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 blah. Weeks go by. And the Mets not only don't sign him, they never make him an offer. Which, on a side note, non-baseball related, is a douchey thing to do to a teenage kid. Because by not making him an offer, that kid now can't play professional baseball in this country. Independently, he could go back to college. That was his choice not yeah, to. He came out as a top 10 pick, and because the Mets don't make him an offer, he can't now live out the dream of being a professional major leaguer starting now. Could he go back to Vanderbilt? I suppose he could. He's not, but he could. But the Mets foobarred a teenage kid. That's all they well, did. Well, a couple of things he's not you a teenager. You can't offer this kid That's a That's number bucks. one. Number two. Obviously, there was something in these medicals. And Zach Scott basically then said Then why did you draft them? Because they didn't see his medicals. That, well, that, then you know what? Because That's Scott incompetence. Boris. No, it's not. Scott Boris 
didn't agree to send Kumar Rockers medicals to where all Major League Baseball teams drafting could look at it. So the Mets took a flyer on Kumar Rocker. They took a risk. Then they were able to get an MRI on him, and they didn't like what they saw. Yeah. So that's what happened. Now, here's where you're right and you're wrong. Because And this happens a lot with you, Craig. A lot of what you say, yeah. you're right. It's just the same. Oh, man. But then there's a party you that just, you know, <laughs> goes too far. I mean, they don't even know. Why don't you, let me ask this question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, a lot of kids now, I say a lot, a decent number of uh, draft their picks, you know, pitchers, whatnot, have surgery. They come back from the surgery, and they have great careers. Yes, in fact, the, the Mets drafted a kid last year who had Tommy John surgery. All right. Yeah. So here's my, here's what I don't get. Yep. All right, so the kid's not going to get the three, four, five million dollars, whatever the number is, that most people think you get at number ten if you're a good pitcher, right? Why not offer the kid half a million dollars? Make him. Say I'll tell no. you why. I'm going to tell you why, and this is not spinning for the Mets. This is why they made this decision, which I agree with. When I heard that they didn't sign Kumar Rocker, and it wasn't a surprise based on our conversation with Zach Scott, I was very disappointed, and it felt like a same old Met kind of weekend. Yeah, it is. But they saw his medicals we haven't. And the Mets made a determination after using the 10th pick in the draft as his medicals was so bad. They didn't want to give him $3 million because then they wouldn't have the 11th pick in next year's draft. They actually believe, and only time will tell if this is true, that whomever they draft next Mm. year at 11 is a better long-term prospect than a guy that they think is damaged goods. Now, is that true? I've never seen his medical records, neither of you. How do you know I haven't seen him? Because you haven't seen I mean, you're right, but I mean, don't you just make these assumptions, Evan? I'm I'm making an assumption. to medical records all of a sudden. But here's where you're right, okay? Because, look, when you look at the facts of this and Scott Boris representing him and them not sharing the medicals prior to the draft, you can see both sides on this. But where it hurts is that it did feel like a same old Met weekend. I'll give you another example. The Mets needed to trade for a pitcher. They traded for Trevor Williams, who they promptly put in AAA, who they chose over Zach Davies. Zach Davies is a better pitcher. But they liked Trevor because they could send him down to AAA. The Mets needed to add pitching. Here, in New York, Here, in not New York. AAA. And while I know yeah. the ask on Jose Barrios was a lot higher than what I would have been willing to give up, there was a sense of disappointment coming out of the trade deadline because they didn't add what they needed. Now, if I'm being rational, I would say, well, who should they have added? There was not a starting pitcher moved that they could have acquired that would have excited me. Kyle Gibson, I don't love. Max Scherzer wasn't coming here, right? Unfortunately, and the price but, tag on Barrios was way too high. But you know what? A few things happened. The Yankees killed the trade deadline. They did. They did. The Mets got a great player, but they didn't get it. He's not a great player. He's a, he's a very good player. Oh, you want to say very good? I don't argue with that. All right, but they got a very good player. Some people think he's kind of great, but you think he's kind of good. Fine. The Mets disappointed their fan base. Yeah. And that's why, and here's why. And maybe more so this year than any other year because, again, you've got a different owner. And when your owner puts out stupid tweets like, hey, they tell me I can get five times the value yeah. of a guy, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear it. I'll always make that investment. I don't want to hear you it. You didn't. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Like, right. That's the thing. I appreciate, and I'll never compare him to the Will Ponds. He's far better than the Will Ponds. Well, we don't know that yet, well, to be fair. He, yeah. I do know that no. because he did trade and sign for Francisco Lindor, but which the Wilpons never would have done. There were a lot of misses so far. If we start taking Plenty stock of, misses. of what's I agree. happened and what hasn't happened, all the rhetoric aside. I agree with that. Steve Cohen's first year as Met owner is not an A. No, I totally agree, but that doesn't mean he's the Wilpons. That's my only well, all I'm saying. Yeah. I still am thrilled that he owns this team, but there's been a lot of things over the last few months that rub you the wrong way. I'll give you a small one, and maybe it's small to you, maybe it's big to others. When I heard that, well, the Mets were talking to Minnesota, but they were concerned about paying the full contract of Josh Donaldson, or they needed the Cubs to pay down the rest of Baez's contract. Now, I get most teams, including the Yankees, got the other team to buy down the contract. I thought... Because Steve Cohen owns the team, instead of having to give up a top prospect like Crow Armstrong, hey, maybe you can use money as a weapon. Maybe money won't be as big of a factor. And I left the trade deadline wondering. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but wondering, could the tag on trading for Baez been different if the Mets said, we'll pay for the rest well, of Baez's contract? Well, here's what we know. When you uh, woke up uh, after the trade deadline... 
New York was, uh, you know, we always talk about COVID these days and when's New York going to be New York? And now there's this new Delta variant. And, oh, my God, masks are coming back. And can you eat outside ever again? What's happening to New York? This weekend, New York, all things were in their right spots. Oh, God. The Yankees are better than the Mets. Uh. The Yankees outdid the Mets. The Yankees swept the Marlins. The Mets barely won a game against the Cincinnati Reds. All things, for me at least, have seem to really get back into their rightful and appropriate places. You know, I want to be. Wise. I want to be happy for so what the Yankees did this week. The Yankees you're have it. a better record than the Mets. Who cares? The Yankee fan is feeling more positive than the Mets fan. I get it that. It all feels like it fell right into place. Would you want to switch places with the Mets right now? No, you would. No, I wouldn't. The I'll New tell York you why. Yankees have a very yeah, and it's not their own Next doing two weeks necessarily. Be tough sledding. Oh, I understand, but the New York Yankees' chances of winning the American in League East are yeah. very low based on how successful Tampa Bay and yeah. Boston, even though the Rays had a big I'm weekend this weekend. I'm not worried about winning the division. Well, you should be. That's I'm the priority. I'm postseason baseball. That's yeah, but, the priority. But, but, Craig, winning yeah. a wild card, yeah. wild, it's great. It gets you a ticket to the playoffs. That's as right. Yankee fans know from 15 and Met fans know from 16, doesn't guarantee you anything. Kirk, you neither much, does winning the division. Well, it guarantees you a best of five series. It guarantees you a berth in the divisional series. Right now, everything you said about the Yankees and the Mets is true. But here's the one thing so you're missing. Why can't we just leave it to that? Because like you we leave just out, had a nice three day weekend. We haven't seen each other, spoken to each other. You leave just out, leave that alone. Because you leave out the part that I'd rather but be in the, for one sec. A lousy let's, division. Let's do this. Let's let's play a little game here. Ugh. Let's say the the a sentence. And leave it alone just for no. like for five seconds. No, five seconds. Let me just feel like what it feels like for you to just say, I agree with you on that. Boop. Okay. And that's it. And the then Yankees move on have to a better else. trade deadline. The Yankees have no, a better no, no, record. No, 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 and the Yankees no, no, have no, more no, no. confidence than Which, the Mets. So I want you to do this if it's conversational. Oh, okay. Not like you're reading uh, yo, yo, know, the children's book for the nineteenth <laughs> time okay. that you're sick of reading to your uh, kids that we've all been through, right? All right, what do you got? Just I want you to leave it alone afterwards. Craig, I got to agree with you. Everything you said is right. The Yankees are better than the Mets. Had a better weekend, better spot. All right. Hey, Craig, I got to tell you, man. The Yankees had a better trade deadline than the Mets. The Yankee fan, rightfully so, has a lot of confidence more so than the Mets fan. Yeah, that's right. What was the last part? Just leave it at that. That's oh, fine. I'll take so the two. I agree with you. One, two, three, four, yeah. five. With all of that said, boom, got to take a win- break. <laughs> winning eight, the division is a priority. Eight, seven, by the way, they're only six <laughs> games out from winning the division, too. And I know Tampa's uh, playing crazy hot ball right now. The Red Sox have come back a bit. They've lost, what, four in a row? Yeah, but, Craig, in all right? seriousness, Tampa the one won four thing, in a row. You do have to wonder, and this is what I was questioning I've with you. I've won like nine in a row now. As well as the Yankees played over the weekend. Yeah. They didn't break out offensively. Oh, by the way, I don't think they played that well at all this weekend. Well, they played. They pitched well. They pitched well. Yes, against a mediocre offense. A terrible yes, offense. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm not one of these guys coming in here going, pie, you know, in the sky. So why are they not boring then? Huh? Then why are they not boring? Because for one specific reason, my friend. What's that? And only one reason. And what's that? I'm going to tell you what they that They scored 10 is. runs in three games against By the Marlins. I thought they kind of embarrassed themselves. <laughs> Did they? A portion of the weekend. <laughs> you mean Glaber Torres? Barely, barely winning game three, needing like heroics, late inning heroics right. in the eighth and ninth innings to get the job done. But remember this, my friend. Check one, check two, check, check. Check, 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 check. Okay, remember this. I'm remembering. A nobody beats the Riz. Nobody oh, beats God. the Riz. <laughs> That's what you came up with. Nobody beats the Riz. Nobody beats the Riz. <laughs> That's why. 